Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will talk about SART and EPO. Both of these equipment are carried on board and used during the distress situation when we abandon ship into life raft and both of these topics are covered under GMDSS course. There are a lot of things to learn about this topic but I will keep it very simple and give you a brief introduction that will clear on concept about these two equipment. So let's start the video. Starting with EPIRV, EPIRV is Emergency Position Indicating Radio Beacon. So EPIRV helps MRCC unit, the SOAR authority, you can understand in a simple way, to determine the position of survivor and the survival craft during search and rescue op operation. So I will el elaborate it, what is this? So what basically EPIRV does when you are in a life raft, you have nothing uh, to inform SOAR authority that you are in life raft, your life is in danger, you are in distress situation. So you uh, open switch on the EPIRV and EPIRV send the signal to satellite and these two satellite are called COSPAS SARSAR satellite. So these signal that you send are received to uh, satellite COSPAS SARSAR and that satellite is sent to LUT. LUT is a local user terminal and then from local user terminal it goes to MCC from MCC to MRCC these all are the uh, institute or authority, SOAR authority that uh, receive your signal through satellite and finally it goes to search and rescue unit from MRCC. So finally the information goes to search and rescue unit and from there the search and rescue operation starts. So this is the basic use of EPUB. In a very simple language I elaborate you. Now let's know about the carriage requirement of EPUB. For Indian registered vessel, two EPUB required to be carried on board and the uh, foreign registered vessel only one EPUB required and EPUB also need to be tested each month this is the requirement you need to test the EPUB each month there is a test button in EPUB and once you press the test button it will be tested and automatically get switched off in 59 seconds so you need not to worry when you press the test button so this is the basic use of EPUB EPUB is also considered as secondary source of alerting so why secondary source of alerting because you are in a situation where you ha you don't have any equipment to alert the SOAR authority that you are in distress then the EPOV will do the work of alerting so it is also considered the secondary source of alerting how it will alert I will uh, I elaborated you already so this is the uh, basic work of EPOV we need to carry one EPOV for foreign registered vessel and two for Indian registered vessel and when you are in this situation it send the signal to MRCC unit that the SOAR authority from there the search and rescue operation start. So this is how the EPOV works. I hope you understood that. Now we will go to the next one. Now let us know about the SART. SART is search and rescue radar transponder. Uh, and what is the difference between EPOV and SART? Let us know about it. See in EPOV you switch on the EPOV, EPOV send the signal to satellite and from there the search and rescue authority get informed through the various channel and search and rescue operation start. But in SART this is not the way. In SART once you switch on the SART, SART remains in the standby mode because it need to be triggered by any external source. What external source? Once you switch on the SART, it remains in the standby mode and if there is any vessel during the range of 5 to 8 nautical mile, then in the X-band radar of that vessel, your SART signal will be visible. Like 12 dot if very close then 12 arc if uh, very very close then 12 co concentric circle in X band radar. So once it is intercepted by the X band radar of other vessel within the range of 5 to 8 nautical miles then our SART becomes activated until that it remains in the standby mode. So this is the difference between EPOV and SART. Once the SART is activated and it intercepted by the X band radar of any vessel within the range of 5 to 8 nautical miles, then we will receive the audio and the light signal. So when we are in life raft, we switch on the SART, it got intercepted, we will receive the audio and light signal. Then we will understand, yes, there is some vessel within the range of 5 to 8 nautical miles and it intercepted our SART signal. So this is how that vessel will come to us as it will get closer to us closer to us our signal audio and the light signal will becomes continuous and in his expand radar the dot become the arc then then arc become the concentric circle as we come closer to the survival craft so this is how SART works SART also need to be tested in a month we need to test SART this is the requirement 
so this was the basic difference between epop and sart epop directly send the signal to uh, the mrcc unit sort authority and the search and rescue starts through the satellite but in sart you switch on the sart it remains in the standby mode until it get intercepted by the x band radar of any vessel within the 58 nautical mile range and then the process start as i said you earlier so this was the basic difference between sart and epop i hope things are clear now I kept it very simple, and I gave you the all basic information regarding the SART and EFO. If you have any doubt, and you if you uh, think anything can be added, please comment there. Thank you.